now from Arrow is Wreck, remastered Blu-ray, another great film, another great release by Arrow. It didn't get any, you know, super duper deluxe box set treatment like some of these more recent releases like Tremors and some of the other ones that we've discussed um, lately. Uh, however, it's pretty cool that they're even releasing this film, and based on what they've put on the disc, I'm really excited to pick this up. This movie was previously released. You could get it on DVD, I believe, the very first one, and then they put one and two out in a Blu-ray sort of box set. Both of them were bare bones completely. And then they put a box set with all four films that eventually released. You know, they kind of kept going with the series, and they put a box set towards the end. They had all four in there. Again, all of those were bare bones as well. So they've never really done anything for these movies. And I can kind of maybe understand why now that they're taking the route of most horror movies where they're just, you know, doing them to death and they're, they don't even really mean anything. And they've done American remakes, like Quarantine with, um, or, yeah, Jennifer I Carter. was going to ask you, is Wreck the one with Jennifer Carter? I've never yep. seen any Wreck yep. movies or Quarantine. Yeah, but it's called Quarantine. So they really just, like... Timely. They, they pounded this thing into the ground, you know, and, and it's a shame because this original one is is really incredible. And I would say the same thing for the sequel, which hasn't been released yet. I, it would be awesome if they Arrow released the sequel as well. It's one of those rare occasions where a sequel expands on some of the character motivations, some of the, the plot itself, and really makes you understand the first movie even better than you thought you did in the first place. So with this release, you get two viewing options. You get a theatrical and you get a production version. The production version is three minutes less and it's 1080i instead of 1080p. So instead of the progressive scan, it's the interlaced. It's got new and old commentaries. It's got a making of featurette. It's got archive interviews, on set footage, video diaries, deleted extended scenes. The first pressing gets its um, the slip cover and a limited edition booklet, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, probably as much as you could possibly expect is going to come out for this film. And really excited that it finally is. Again, maybe at some point soon they'll at least give the second one the same treatment. The third one sort of deviated entirely from the formula of found footage, and so did the fourth one. It was a traditional film as well. I didn't even realize these were found footage. <laughs> they are. They are. And, and yeah, these completely flew, like, they're just off my radar. Yeah. I don't know what. I never... I don't know anything about these movies. Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably a little weird to think of now, like, oh, I'm going to go watch a found footage movie because they've kind of died off in, in recent years. And this one actually came out when they kind of got some new life. Like, there was, like, VHS was kind of, like, rumbling around a few years after that. And um, Chronicle was a found footage film around that time, which yeah, was kind of cool. It never really died. I see what you mean, though. I think it was it kind of, like, ebbs and flows in popularity. But, uh... Yeah, this, no, this, this is a good example of that genre. It's a hot, hot version of found footage for sure. It's definitely a an, an incredible, like visceral movie. It kind of sucks you right in your first person through what appears to be in at least in the first movie some sort of an infected sort of situation. Again, the second movie takes things in a different direction from the perspective of three kids holding a VHS camcorder that were in the apartment building that these characters in the first movie never ran into. Oh, so it's so from their perspective, kind of. And it's from a different perspective while now, now and then paths do cross. So you do kind of see, oh, that's the first movie swinging by. And here oh, goes the second movie. That's it a is. Cool, that's, a, that's a cool concept for do, found footage. Yeah. Well, if you're a fan of Wreck or you haven't seen it before, if you're a fan of the at least the found footage genre, you absolutely have to see this one. I mean, if, you're, if you haven't, you're crazy.